This is how to determine the amount of current passing through. What is the average current passing through a solution of aluminum nitrate if 2.76 grams of aluminum were deposited in 6.12 hours? Okay, let's define what current is. Current is measured in amps, okay? And an amp is equal to a coulomb per second. So, if we could get our hands on coulombs and seconds, we could answer this question. Now, I think you could probably easily see a way to get your hands on seconds. The event occurs in 6.12 hours. And you probably know that there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. So, 6.12 times 3,600 gives us 22032 seconds. All right, that goes on the bottom. The top may be less clear to you, but you're probably thinking, hey, it must have something to do with that aluminum. 2.76 grams of aluminum. Okay, let's work this out. In chemistry, whenever you have grams, it is always a good idea to get to moles. So how about if there are 26.98 grams of aluminum in one mole of aluminum? Okay. Now, it would be more helpful, of course, if we knew how many moles of electrons. Uh, hopefully you're looking at aluminum nitrate and you're saying, hey, aluminum nitrate, that is aluminum 3 plus. And I'm going to aluminum. Hey, that must take how many electrons? That must take three electrons. So I bet I can say that there are three moles of electrons for every one mole of aluminum. Aha. The last thing I need to get to is coulombs. And maybe you remember that one mole of electron is 96,485 coulombs. Ah, very good. I have my top, so let me just calculate this out. And that turns out to be 29,610 coulombs. Very well. I should put it on the top. 29,610 coulombs. Now I just need to take it and divide it by the 22032 seconds, and I get 1.34 amps. And that is the answer to my problem.